Hi, my name is Jonathan Lewis, and I'm the Director of Product Marketing at SSH Communication Security. PCI version 3 is now available, and the security and audit community is paying close attention to what's new in the standard. The PCI Council provides a lot of helpful information about the new standard on their website, and so I'm not going to rehash what they're already offering. Instead, I want to talk a little bit about Secure Shell and the impact that that has on PCI compliance. PCI version 3 is focused on the intent of the requirements, clarifying that the goals are being met, and providing for more rigor in testing to see that compliance is being met. What you won't find in the standard is very much mention of specific technologies. With so many technologies being available and the almost limitless ways that technology can be deployed, it's understandable why the PCI Council has chosen to be technology agnostic. PCI is focused on the end result, not on how you get there. So what does this mean for Secure Shell? I want to focus on a few slides to illustrate the impact that Secure Shell has on PCI compliance. Let's take a closer look at Secure Shell and PCI environments. On the plus side, Secure Shell provides confidentiality for data transfers. It can enable secure systems administration and enable secure process automation. On the minus side, Secure Shell authentication keys can be an attack vector for both malicious insiders and external threats. Secure Shell can also be used to obscure data theft as well as enable various unauthorized activities. Within the PCI DSS structure, we find that Secure Shell has impact across all the domains of PCI DSS. I'm going to take one quick example to illustrate this. PCI DSS Requirement 6, at a high level, mandates develop and maintain secure systems and applications. Within Requirement 6, there's Requirement 6.4, which is to follow change control processes. And within that, there's Requirement 6.4.2, which is mandates separation of duties between development and test environments. What we can see is the standard here in PCI DSS is outlined in orange and makes no mention of any specific technology. So what an auditor needs to look at if Secure Shell is being used is to make sure that the Secure Shell keys used by development are removed before applications and images are moved into production environments and then to scan both environments to make sure that this is taking place. What we find is that there's about 50 specific PCI requirements where Secure Shell has this form of impact. What auditors need to know. The need to manage and control Secure Shell use, configuration, and identities is pervasive across PCI DSS. Auditors need to understand the connection between PCI intent and how Secure Shell is used in PCI environments. And finally, customers want to comply with PCI and they want better security. Auditors need to ask the right questions. Summarizing, understand the environment, identify the areas to investigate, and gather information. So what are some of the questions that auditors should be asking? Well, it's really pretty simple. Are you using Secure Shell in the car data environment? What are the authentication methods for Secure Shell? How are the policies set? How is Secure Shell being managed? How are identities being tracked and controlled? SSH Communication Security is offering some helpful resources for auditors to guide them through this process. We have a cheat sheet to help you get started, plus a detailed white paper that steps through each of the 50 requirements in PCI DSS that has relevance for Secure Shell. Finally, we offer products and services that can help bring a card data environment into compliance and keep it on compliance on an ongoing basis. If you would like some more information or if you just have a quick question, please contact us at www.ssh.com. Thanks for listening.